friends and welcome to another vlog. Um, it is Monday and I'm getting the vlog off to a bit of a later start today. I've already been up for like four hours or something like that but um, I just kind of was doing stuff or like showering and basically just recovering from my like weekend traveling and just getting myself back to you know life if that makes any sense. I have made a little bit of more unpacking progress. I still have like three pretty large boxes, probably my three biggest boxes honestly, that I have to unpack but I have made some progress and I will show you guys. And I'm about to take Squirtle on his second walk of the day we're gonna go out. I'm really really hungry too so I might get some food on the way. When I walk him I just wear like a fanny pack now and I just like strut the downtown streets. <laughs> Today I think is going to just be, I basically want to get all of my unpacking done as soon as I can because just looking at any type of a box that's not unpacked stresses me out. Okay, let me update you guys on changes since I last vlogged. I moved my full length mirror on to this wall in between the bricks. I don't know if it's gonna stay here, but it's t everything is so temporary. I feel like I keep telling you guys that, but everything is just temporary until um, I am gonna be working with an interior design friend. My friend Sam like knows her, and um, I'm going to be working with her to kind of like design this whole space. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Oh, he's going in on this. And he loves to eat baskets. He would always eat his basket before. Okay, I don't know if I showed you guys this rug. It's from Ikea, isn't it cute? Right now, it's just below the futon. I'm gonna get a couch for this, like a little couch for this area. By the way, you guys were like, Lindsay, when are you gonna get curtains? What the heck, it's so weird that people can like see into your space. And I have these really awesome at the top. Okay, you can't really tell, but yeah, okay. I have, I'll pull like one down for you. I have these blinds that are on every single window in here and I pull them down at night like before I go to sleep and um, I like it better during the day with all the open space so I don't plan on getting curtains because I really really like the look of just like the open windows and I can pull the blinds on whenever I want to. This thing is so ugly, the Ikea 9 drawer. I emptied it out last night, oh my god I emptied it out all of my makeup and everything that I stored in here and I'm going to, well first of all, when I was moving, the bottom of this got all messed, like look at it, it's like, it got messed up so it doesn't even stand up straight anymore but I'm getting rid of this because I have nowhere to put this that I would not, that I would want to look at and it was just unnecessary, like it is so gigantic. My vanity um, might stay here temporarily on this wall but I don't really love it on this wall because it's a white vanity up against a white wall and I don't think it looks good. I'm gonna be getting a new vanity chair. This is probably like the most progress, the kitchen area and then the living room area. So I have some flowers that one of you guys, these are so pretty, I love them. I got flowers from two of you, two of you guys at um, the meetup on Saturday. Um, I have all of my wildflower cases, whoa. I just put a picture of them on Twitter and Snapchat, but I was emptying out that thing and I keep all of them in there and I was like, I, how many do I have? I'm gonna take a photo of my collection. So this is why I don't have an iPhone 6 because these are all five cases and I, I love them and I won't part with them until I absolutely like absolutely have to. I'm getting my internet installed tomorrow so I'll be able to watch stuff on my TV and I haven't been able to like go on the internet at all but it's really not a big deal because that I've been unpacking. Um, what else? I have a little like candle and some crystals over on this little display right now and then I have my mug plant on this one but um, over here I'm really kind of liking the look of the top of my dresser I decided to put my computer up here for the time being until I get like a desk type thing that I want to put it on and then I just have this is one of the flowers that another one of you guys gave me and I have it in that cute little vase my little to-do list this is my like quick out the door stuff. I think this looks so, so nice. I put my home sweet home sign that was, it was chilling like on top of the counter and I put it right here and I love it. I love it, the paper towels kind of, I don't know. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I'm super happy with the look of the kitchen at least. The kitchen's really clean and I organized like my cabinets and all of that stuff. This is stuff I need to take down. These are three boxes that I still have to unpack. And then this is a box uh, that I'm starting to fill up of things that I need to hang places or that just hangy stuff. So, okay, this has been a seven minute, oh wait, last thing, last thing, and I don't know if it's gonna stay here, but this is from Ikea and it's a little tree for hanging bags and, or like a coat hanger, <laughs> a tree. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna put a bunch of my bags on there, I already have two on there, and I don't know, I'll probably end up moving this at some point to like the corner of my room or some one of these corners. I got a printer. <laughs> I'm just updating you guys on everything because a lot has changed. I got a printer. <laughs> which is chilling on the floor. And he's like, mom, I gotta go to the bathroom. So we're gonna go out, I'm gonna stop talking to you. Um, I'll see you soon. Yeah, it's time for a little rant because I just read that E! Online Teen Choice Awards article. Um, if you haven't seen it, I guess just Google it. I don't even know if by the time I put this up, it'll if it'll still be up or if it will be taken down. So just rude and like bashing like, youtubers just like in general criticizing the entire award show which i don't it's the teen choice awards obviously it's gonna be catered towards teenagers i don't know it just it made me so mad everyone on my timeline is like going crazy about it right now and i honestly hope the person that wrote that article is like fired or something like that because i I don't understand how that was like allowed to be published on the internet like at, I don't understand what benefit publishing that article on E online would have to anyone because it was just like offensive and rude. Let me know you guys' thoughts on it. It was basically basically bashing and saying who are these like people people like Joey Graceffa and Ava who have millions of subscribers, millions of video views like billions even i would never be like who is this person like who even is that like educate yourself if you don't know who someone is that's on tv i mean my guess is they're probably kind of important if they're on tv receiving an award nominated for a teen choice award anything like that so why don't you just do some research if you don't know who they are instead of just like being completely rude and acting like they're nobody important that made me mad i need to like cool off <laughs> but uh yeah just wanted to like come on here and see you guys' thoughts on that hopefully the article will still be up but um at the same time like i guess it's just giving them a bunch of clicks anyway and more traffic to their website so even if it's down maybe that would be a better thing <laughs> um but e online definitely i mean i don't follow them but very 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 like disappointed when i saw that at first i was like what is this like when i first saw like tyler oakley's tweet about it and then i read it and i was just like this is more offensive than i ever thought that it would be but when i clicked on this Hello, sir. Were you browsing the Z Gallery fall collection over there? You were? You were reading your magazine? I actually was reading this on the plane the other day and got some really nice um, bookmarked pages in here of stuff that I really, really love Z Gallery. So I found some nice stuff. But um, update, Taylor's over. We have been, well, we went to um, 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 Phil's. I couldn't yes. remember. I took her to Phil's. It was great. There was a really hot man that we saw. Oh. He came outside when we came outside, like to sit outside. So we were like, I mean, I think it's just like a sign that, you know, he he wanted it too. I look so oily today. I mean, I am. I'm not wearing any face makeup today. So I guess the oils are just, they're brewing, you know? We have been talking about rearranging and what's gonna look good in my space. I was showing her my Z Gallery selections yes, and beautiful. Taylor has an idea that I'm gonna tell you guys about because I think it's gonna work out really nicely. So for the living room she was saying, you can tell we just moved this because Taylor was saying that I think this is also a really good idea that if I had like a small like love seat type little couch that goes right along this wall and it kind of like it turns in this way and it kind of like sections off this from the living room like the back of it would and then I could have like a 
two like nice fluffy kind of statement chairs here and I'll have a coffee table going this way I'm gonna get a different coffee table just because I don't I never really loved this one it's just very very simple yeah, I think I'm gonna keep my TV stand um, or possibly mount my TV on the wall but I'm not sure yet and then you guys were saying well once I get rid of these boxes I'm gonna have a lot of open space like right here next to the pole and I need something for like sitting and eating. I'm probably gonna look into doing like an island just cause you know, I really don't have that much counter space. So I could like extend like the counter space of my kitchen. So like a little island with maybe like two bar stools cause I feel like that's all I need. What are you doing under there? What's going on? He likes to hang out under the futon sometimes, but I don't understand why he likes to like lie on the hardwood because there's a blanket right there for him and then he's been loving, yeah, he's been loving this, but he loves to just chill under the futon. Or he, remember he would hang out under the couch, at the old apartment. <laughs> hey guys, me and Squirt are hanging out, cuddling. I just ordered some hangers off of Amazon and I'm excited because they are like the huggable hangers, um, like the space saving velvety hangers. And I have a few of them for certain items of my clothes that like slip. Squirtle, you are covering my face up, sir. But um, I don't have them for like most of the items of my clothing and they really save a lot more space. So I think they'll be super helpful to, and they just look better, they look nicer. I found a really good deal on like 50, a 50 pack of them on Amazon and I had to order five because I counted um, that I have almost 240, I don't know how that's possible, I have almost 240 white hangers I guess right now in my closet. This is my favorite thing, when I get to lie just in bed and cuddle him. What's wrong sir? He is going crazy. I had a really good time with Taylor. We just went to Chipotle. Now it's just me hanging out. That's about it. I ordered some hangers. It was a good day. It was a great day, actually. I feel like I didn't, like, I'm thinking back on the day, and I'm like, what did I do? But it's already, uh, it's already, like, almost 10 p.m., and, I mean, I had a good day. I just did some more unpacking. I got my bathroom all organized, which I think is really good. Um, I'll show you guys it because why not okay, so if you haven't seen my bathroom This is what it looks like. It's one of my favorite parts of the apartment because it's really really spacious and I love like the marble and everything or I don't know if it's marble granite whatever it is. It looks nice um, and I also love all of the storage like this little thing over here next to the sinks and we have all of this i didn't have drawers at all in my last bathroom i had double sinks and i had two of these um but i still found myself not really having enough um storage because i just had to keep everything under the sinks i have ample storage in this bathroom and so first of all i have this little tray which i had in my old bathroom it's from target and i have some of my favorite like pretty products out so i have some benefit stuff and i have this product which i actually got in the mail today from amazon i got three products from cosmetic skin solutions that i ordered because um i heard it was like similar to a brand called skin suticles that i heard about from the benefit ladies that were doing my makeup this week and she was like raving about it because I said that my skin has been having some problems. So anyway, um, this is the day moisturizing cream. Squirtle like freaks out when he's on my bed and I'm not there. Like, do you want to come down? Here. Yeah, he likes to follow me everywhere, guys. He is so needy. Anyway, back to the bathroom. Yeah, I have that here. I have these two little things that I also had in my bathroom before. One of them I'm just using for my toothbrush and then the other for q-tips. And then this drawer, I had these drawer organizers that I put in and they fit so perfectly. These didn't fit um, anywhere actually in, in any of the drawers I had in my last place. So this is super nice that they fit. So I just have some hair stuff and some of my stuff that I like to have it like easy reach for makeup wipes, yada yada. This is like the medium sized drawer which I filled up today with a ton of stuff. 
that I like to use and that I want to have again at just like easier reach. And then the bottom drawer, I have my hair tools and then I have um, some traveling makeup bags and things like that. Under this sink is products. Um, these two things are from the container store and they fit really, really nicely under here. So love that. And these are cool because they slide. Oops. They slide out that one's pretty empty so I guess I should maybe fill that one a little bit more but this one's really really full this one's a bunch of hair products but yeah I just keep products more products as I said like I'm so happy with the bathroom storage because I have so many products that I like to keep under here this one's super empty um, but I'm sure you know I'll fill it with stuff eventually I still have to unpack like some things um, like nail stuff and I probably have honestly like other products somewhere packed away and then let's see this one is again pretty empty as well just have some lipstick containers and stuff my spa wrap um, I hopefully will end up using this stuff but I'm just so happy that I have all of this room for storage because there's like seriously things that you need to store but you don't use all the time at all so they can go in places like this and then this one I have you know some like Bathroom supplies, my tan towels, guys. This is a 50 pack of tan towels that I got in like bulk on Hot Look. Such, such a amazing purchase, honestly. And then this is actually, I haven't shown you guys this, but I did this last night and this is actually all of my makeup besides, besides my, what am I saying? Besides my like daily makeup bag, what I have in my vanity, which is not that much um, compared to what is in here. And these really, it's cool because I have so much in these. Like I, what the entire Alex nine drawer was that I was showing you guys earlier, all of that, I fit into these four boxes. So it's not really organized, but I mean like, yeah, I'm sorry, you can't really see this and I don't really wanna take them out, but like, this is how I organize the stuff into these four categories. And these ones at the bottom are at the bottom because they're really, really heavy. These boxes are just from Ikea. Not kidding you, they're literal cardboard. So um, I thought they wouldn't be that sturdy, but they're actually really nice to hold my makeup. And then this is just gonna be period supplies at the bottom. So yeah, awesome. <laughs> that was my bathroom, so I did a lot of that organizing today here's my shower I'm gonna take Squirtle out on his last walk of the evening got my blinds down this is what they look like all down at night I like to put just these ones down I don't put them all down um, cuz these ones are right by my bed so they block off the Sun from attacking me in the morning here we go again with the half-lit face um, sorry about that but you know don't got much light in here yet besides this lamp and that lamp and then the other lights are in the kitchen so yeah I'll definitely have to get some lighting but everything is you know gonna eventually come together I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog today it was all in the apartment so I apologize for that whenever I went out I didn't bring anything big enough to bring my camera but that's not really an excuse <laughs> but I still hope you enjoyed seeing some of my progress and organizing and stuff like that I had a great day Squirtle is worn out I got him this blanket from Amazon and this side is like super super soft and then the other side is also very soft not quite as like soft fuzzy but yeah I'm trying to get him to like sleep over here because he always just wants to sleep like on top of me or something like that. I will see you guys in my next vlog on Wednesday and Wednesday should be a good day. I'm definitely running a lot of errands on Wednesday. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Give it a big thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching. I love you. Goodbye.